Miss Denise here from Safe's Art, and we're doing another What's Old is New Again. Yay! Wax on, wax on. Yay! So this was a, a work in progress, something I was doing in acrylics, um, and uh, I'm just digging up, digging through stuff that I didn't finish, and uh, I want to go ahead and, and uh, let's put some wax on this. Let's get wax on it. So, uh, I've also been working on a video, guys, where um, I made a whole bunch of uh, wax, different wax color blocks from Crayolas, and uh, because I ran out of white and black in the encaustic collection, you know, those are key colors, you really need them. So I bought lots of crayons and I uh, did a whole bunch. I did six different colors. And if that's something you ever want to see, let me know because I did videotape it. I think the only thing missing from the video is when I popped them out this morning in the ki on the kitchen, <laughs> in the kitchen counter because the kitchen counter was uh, strong enough for me to bang that pan around. <laughs> And they all popped out. They came out really nice. Um, the white that I'm going to be using today and any black that I use is also going to be crayons and not encaustic. I'm also going to be using some mica powders. Uh, this was a, a suggestion from one of my wonderful followers, your all wonderful followers, uh, Isabelle. And again, uh, if you guys have ideas for me, um, I love suggestions. I love challenges. I love testing the boundaries of what's possible because I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. It's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun, right? Okay, so we have a nice, nice bit of uh, white wax going on here, maybe, or clear. So let's just get a little bit more here. And then I'm going to go ahead and fuse this. Now, I'm not going to use a heat gun today, guys. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use my blowtorch because uh, I think I have a little more control over what's going on uh, with my blowtorch. So I'm just going to kind of give this a, almost like you're uh, getting out the bubbles, right? You don't want to stay there too long. Nice. Now see, that's already got some really fun texture from the acrylic. <laughs> And wait to see what that's going to be. Um, I do want to use a lot of intense, fun colors today. So I want to kind of start over here with the orange. I'm just going to leave that block on there. And I kind of have certain, certain pans or certain brushes for certain colors. And uh, I'm just going to start to brush that on. So I'm going to do a couple of colors, right, with you guys. And then um, I'll pause the video and finish it up. But it's going to be basically in the same the same way. I'm just going to keep, keep applying colors as I like all the way down, all the way through. So let's do one more color here. Together. Got a nice red piece here. Now what would be nice is if I had enough tins, I could always have this ready melted all my different colors and we can paint together, but that'll come. Because I, I I see uh, I see this medium being a, a huge part of my life. Along with the alcohol inks, I think uh, the two of them go together beautifully. 
All right, so you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. And so I'm going to do that all the way down. You know, I'm going to have some purple, some violet, some blue. And I do want to try this uh, uh, phalo green, phalo blue, actually. It's a phalo green blue shade. And I want to try that down all in these pretty, pretty little things. All right, guys, so I will see you soon. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so I have uh, some colors going on here. There's uh, a little bit of reasoning for the different um, the different shapes. I'm really hoping to get more of a flowy, uh, surreal landscape. So uh, I know that the white interacts with the colors underneath, and the black interacts. And it, it, this much we've learned. <laughs> So before I go any further, um, I did put um, a thin coat of uh, clear beeswax on here. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and add some mica powders. And uh, this is Rose Gold by Jacquard. Now, uh, this was a, a gift to me. I, I wouldn't go out and spend the money on this. I, I have some really nice inexpensive mica powders that I just love. But uh, since these were gifted to me, I'm going to go ahead and use them. <laughs> now I'm, I'm throwing these micas down into the wax. really quite pretty. Um, wax loves, apparently, like powder. All right. All that shimmers. <laughs> Could very well be mica powder. All right. Ah, oh, so pretty. Uh, I do want to throw in a little bit of that antique gold because it kind of looks like it's green. I like it that. See that? Looks green to me. This is my mica powder brush. It's just a cheap little brush that kitties can use to learn how to paint. But it has a natural bristles. Which I like for my gift. Now hopefully these micas will move around with everything else. Another thing I learned, I don't know if you guys can see it, is the texture um, from the acrylic underneath here. Can you see it? Oh, that's right, I got my other light on. Can you see that texture? There's a lot of it in there, so that just taught me something else too. I'm always learning, I'm always learning! <laughs> All right. So first thing I'm going to do, since we've got the mica powders down, is I'm just going to give it a little heat, kind of fuse that stuff with the wax. Because I think I'm going to put uh, one more coat of clear on here, and then we're going to shellac. Not a full coat. I already did this half, so I'm going to just, just get over the micas. We don't want a mica powder fire. No mica fighters today. I'm going to have to turn my other way. Oh, no, I like it. Clean my brush, make sure we get all that mica out of it. And now we're going to paint. Uh, I made uh, three additional colors yesterday. Um, 
with the shellac, I did uh, white, uh, a lime green, and yellow. Really, really nice colors. So, let's go ahead and start with this yellow. And this, this is my shellac brush. It's really hard right now. <laughs> but it gets, it, she softens up. She does, she softens up after all. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Um, what I've learned is you want to make sure that you have a nice even coat. You don't want it to be too much, guys, because less is best. Um, this stuff is gonna is gonna give you the effects that you're looking for. So what I've learned with a nice thin coat, adding more isn't going to increase the effects. It's just gonna give you a mess. Trust me, I've been practicing. <laughs> I've been playing. I've been playing with the uh, um, how far I can go with this. I absolutely love it. So there's our yellow. I want to use some of this blue. Really pretty. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to need the goobie gun. It's very warm in here today, guys, because I have my fan on. And, um, so all my AC is getting sucked right out the window. <laughs> but because I am using some crayons, which the wax for the crayons is paraffin, you really need to have some good ventilation, guys. You don't want to mess with the. Uh, you don't want to mess with that. Now, if I was using straight up encaustic, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. Although they do say Darmar resin, you know, but I, I've never had a problem with it, so I don't. I don't worry about it. Okay. Make sure your lids are really good on there. go with some of this so I love the tangerine. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she is. This is a tangerine. Don't wear her out. She's so pretty. <laughs> now see my brush is nice and soft again. <laughs> I wonder if it has to do with the alcohol base or what kind of blending just a little bit here, not that it's going to matter. Uh, you can see where it's picking up the textures underneath, um, part and partial wax, and then there's some uh, acrylic from the old acrylic painting piece that I was working on being covered. But I'm definitely learning all the possibilities because uh, I like this whole textural thing that's going on, especially in here with the acrylic popping through. <laughs> All right, pulling that out. I want to make sure everything's covered. I don't want to forget one bit of this. So now I'm going to use the white, and I don't know if white is going to give me an effect or not, guys. I don't know. I've never seen it used. Um, actually, I've only seen clear and blue used, so I really don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know.
go into some area and put some white over that orange. I don't know if we're going to get a reaction or not. Some white over that mica. A little bit of white here in the middle. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're going to let this mesh dry for a little bit, guys. And um, when we come back, we're going to burn, 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 burn. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So it has dried. I took the time to watch the SpaceX launch and the two astronauts are in space with a, a flying dinosaur zipping around inside their little cockpit, which looks awesome. Leave it to Tesla. <laughs> but uh, it's good and dry. Um, so the, the first thing, we're, we're going to burn this, okay? And um, But I want to try to use, before I go to my heat gun, I want to try to use this to see if I can't get a better controlled burn so I'm gonna start down here in this corner I've turned some lights off so hopefully I've gotten rid of some of this glare wait 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 <laughs> okay there we go now it looks really light for you guys but it's, it's kind of like in the dark here for me you open some windows back here oh, yeah Oh, that's much better. <laughs> I cut holes in my thingy over here. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna. I'm gonna focus on this corner with the heat gun, or with with this. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. I think the control factor with the handheld here with this blowtorch um, is by far a, a greater asset than the gun. You can easily uh, go a little too far with that gun because it's so strong and covers so much space. It's kind of fun to watch. Um, you see the red coming out from there? I, I'm going to have to turn the overhead light on, guys. I, I just can't see. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Pretty fluid, so I don't want to. I don't want to switch you down here. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Your control level is greater here. I mean, it's like you're painting with the fire. Oh yeah. You can get the effect and then stop, so you don't over overkill. Mm -hmm. 
I noticed the mica powders are kind of like floating into these little pools, you know? Um, which is okay, I guess, but um, I think I would have would have hoped that maybe they Oh yeah <laughs> I was hoping for that but as much as I love this yes it's but it's burning the wax I can smell it so um, I do like the fact the, the fact that um, I can I can do one small area at a time but it gets it's too hot. So here we go. But that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Less is best. My grandmother and my mother told me that less is best. Now this is another area we put mica powders in. Also, this is the yellow shellac. I didn't check to see if my board was level. <laughs> oh, yeah. The stuff going on down here is really pretty. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think I should have used um, more of a you know, some of that flow right over the edge. Um, uh, what's the word I'm thinking? Um, oh, okay. red shellac. Yeah, I probably should have used some red shellac up in here. Or more reds. I love the way the white's coming in there and doing it. Ah, oh, so pretty. Tell you what, guys, I learn a little something every time I do this.
Ha <laughs> Send some of that flying. drawing with slowing uh <laughs> slowing wax hot molten wax something with this guys Done. That's right. <laughs> no, we're not done. We're going to put another coat of wax on here and another coat of shellac. And we're going to do it again, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. <laughs> See you soon. Hi, guys. We're back and everything is dry now. I did add more wax, as you can see. Um, I piled some white on here because I had some beautiful lime green under there and I'm hoping to pull that out. Um, I've put uh, clear across everything and I added um, uh, the shellac in the red and the yellow and that's it, the red and the yellow. So we got mostly <coughs> red up in here and yellow down here. And now we're going to heat this up and finish her. <laughs> finish her. Oh. Oh, better move that. So, what's really cool about this, guys, is that we can go back and do this as many times as we want. Um, I understand that we can, like, just keep doing it. Oh, I better move this piece of wax. <laughs> so, I really thought the... The, um, the butane lighter, the butane was going to be better than the heat gun, but it's not. The heat gun is definitely better. Okay, we're starting to get some action. So I'm going to go higher.
Wow. Go into that burst and then get out. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. Go for the burst and get out. Because uh, you could actually heat the wax up too much. And then it's not happy. Sorry, I feel like a kid in a candy store. This is just so much fun. So I live in Florida and we got to watch the SpaceX um, thing go up in the air today. Um, we're about two hours from Daytona, I think. Whoa, whoa, what? Huh. And um, so uh, it was overcast, so we watched it on television and that was awesome too. That was really cool. What I, I think the, the most disappointing thing for me was that um, I, w I wanted to watch that rocket land by itself, but they apparently they showed it coming down and then they lost the feed and then um, that was it. That was the end of that. And uh, so we didn't get to we didn't get to see that. So heating the wax is also fusing it, right? So the shellac and everything gets fused together, which is really cool. Oh, a nice burst of white coming out of there. That's gorgeous! This is really fun, guys. Um, I think I learned a lot today, and this is all a learning experience for me. I don't know about y'all, but um, so we we repurposed um, uh. That's going to close up. <laughs> yeah, cool. 
we repurposed an acrylic uh, painting. And um, that's really nice. We added some mica powders. think I got exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> Something colorful. And um, oh wow. So I'm just going to take you guys down here because it's too fluid to um, literally pick up or whatever. Uh, and kind of give you an idea what we got. Um, darn the light. I'll go ahead and shut it off. That's me going around the table. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that's better for you guys. Um, really bad for me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my my thingy likes that too. So. Um. We got some really intense uh, mix of colors and um, cells going on here. Some of my favorite bits are down here. <laughs> Look at that. Focus, focus. Come on, you got this. There you go. <laughs> you know, I love my, um, my, this is like a $15 piece of equipment that I have, um, just hooked to my table and, um, it has a space for your iPhone to hold her and I just wrap my Microsoft camera down inside of it and turn it around <laughs> and I can play with it like that. So, um. Everything looks really cool now, so um, I can I can kind of show you. It's really fun, guys. How cool is that? And I'm um, eventually going to go ahead and and paint some epoxy resin on this. Shellac seems to do a really good job of covering it as well. And so, um, ah, 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 eh. come on, come on. Have to bat you on the head there. Come on. Oh, oh, let's wake it up. Wake it up. Oh, it just wants to go in there more. See that little cave? How cool is that? There's so many things to see guys, I, I could spend hours showing you, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to put this down here really softly, gently, don't do that. There you go. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Denise from Seuss Art saying thank you Isabella. That was a great thing. The, 
the micro powders are beautiful in here. Um, I will see you soon. We're going to do something tomorrow. I don't know what it is yet. Ha! <laughs> Ciao, Bella.